Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the FS2004 Aviation Pro channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, control your communication radios and other instruments uh, via your iPhone for Flight Simulator. Now, Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the FS2004 Aviation Pro channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to control your communication radios uh, in Flight Simulator via your iPhone or iPad. Um, there's an app for this, it's called Remote Flight, and as you can see on this website there are multiple apps for the iPad and also for the iPhone. Currently there is no uh, app for the Android phones yet, but um, I guess they'll make that quickly. Uh, but anyways, uh, these are all payware apps except the radio communications. This is the first app that they created and uh, with this app you can basically control your radio stack um, in Flight Simulator with every single add-on and uh, of course also the default airplanes. Uh, you have to install several things for this. Uh, first of all, of course you have to download the app on the App Store. Uh, just uh, search for Remote Flight and you will uh, automatically find uh, the app called Remote Flight Com for the communication radio. So go ahead and install that app first. Uh, then we're going to move over to uh, the website again. We have to um, download uh, a server which is just a tool that connects your iPhone via Wi-Fi to Flight Simulator in order to, in order to use uh, the app. So go ahead and download and install that. And we'll just move over here. I've already installed it of course. And uh, you have to... Um, so what you have to do first is run Flight Simulator. Then you have to uh, start Remote Flight Server. Make sure that you run it with an administrator rights if you're running on Vista or Windows 7. And of course you may need to make sure that your firewall isn't blocking this um, uh, uh, program tool. Okay, um, so it's actually very easy. You will present it with the start screen. Uh, you have to enter a server port. You can randomize that. I've got 4326. Then you have to um, select your server IP address in this list. Um, and that's all you have to do. You have to start the server. And it's connecting to Flight Simulator. It's now connected to Flight Simulator via FSU IPC. You need uh, the, uh, I believe one, one of the latest versions for that. Um, but you don't have to uh, own a re registered version. That's not really necessary. But anyways, it's now connected to Flight Simulator. So the next thing you have to do is start your app and um, it's very easy. You first go to the uh, settings right here on the settings knob, and then you'll only the only thing you have to do is enter the IP address that you can find here, and also the server port that you can find here, and make sure you test the connection. And if the connection uh, so shows success, it's actually working. Okay, so it's very easy, and then all you have to do is go back to Flight Simulator, right here. And now the only thing you have to do is start your app, and uh, you should be connected uh, properly to Flight Sim, and can use your iPhone to control your radios. Now I've made a demonstration video already, right here. Uh, by clicking on this link, you will be, um, you will see um, this app in action. Um, I can recommend it to anyone uh, who's a pilot uh, uh, with Flight Sim or uh, especially pilots on the VETSIM network because this an app enables you to um, you know, control and uh, your radios uh, very easily. Of course you can download the other apps as well. Um, they are payware as I've told but uh, you know they are all based on general aviation aircraft so you won't really find a Boeing 737 MCP panel for example. Uh, but at least they do the job and especially this one. This one is freeware, so go ahead and download it. I can really recommend it um, So click on this link for the demonstration video for now I would like to thank you for watching and I would see you next time